Hi, it's Gary from Fireblade Software here. We've just launched a major update for Abandoned Ship and this video will describe some of the new content. We've added sea forts. These imposing stone structures house a weapon called the Megam. This hits with such a force that it temporarily stops ship movement, so you'd better be prepared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe at long range, aiming to destroy the Mega Mortar and accept the fort's subsequent surrender, or take a beating as you move in to deal with the crew manning the defences. While defeating a sea fort provides great reward, the perils of facing the Mega Mortar and the fort's other weapons are considerable. In exploration mode, hostile sea forts will open fire if you stray within range of their guns. Battling a ship within this radius means the fort could bombard you or your enemy depending on the fort's alignment. Engaging in piracy will increase the new wanted level. As this passes certain milestones, forts will open fire on you and bounty hunters will be dispatched to bring you to justice. You can reduce your wanted levels by either foiling other pirates or by visiting the magistrates in port. If you reach the highest wanted levels, ports will become closed off. This is when you'll want to visit the new floating outposts. These neutral mini ports are open to all, even the most nefarious pirate. They're also useful for patching up the worst of your damage if you're far from the safety of a proper port. Tying into the wanted levels are trade routes. These dotted lines snake out from ports and not only act as handy navigational aids, but also provide opportunities for captains on either side of the law. You can raid them yourself or defeat pirates that are blocking them. Either action will impact your wanted level. We've added new weapons. The web gun and berserk dart are great for disrupting the actions of enemy crew. Flame spewing gargoyles and sharp anti-boarding spikes give perennial boarders a tricky problem to tackle. For players who like to fight at long range, catapults are extremely powerful but only fire at the farthest distance. The lightning gun chains minor damage on multiple crew and provides a small interrupt to their actions. Aim at clumps of crew for the best results. Finally, the timed bomb drops a powerful projectile that can be defused, but this is where you want to use weapons that interrupt crew actions to ensure the bomb detonates. Some of the popular community requests that have been implemented include expanding the crew capacity on larger ships, and each crew class now has a unique skill, giving more meaning to the classes you recruit. A passage of time system repopulates the world with events. When the Kraken is chasing you in the early game, it will now perform a range of extra attacks to fend off while you're cutting its tentacles. Every weapon now has the ability to be set to auto-fire mode and we've improved how targeting sections is visualised. All of this represents the main new features in the update and there have of course been a lot of other improvements, the full details of which can be found on our Steam community forums. For our next update, we'll continue to expand the game with a whole host of new systems and we're also planning to unlock a new region. Thanks for watching and see you next time.